Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going forward with KVS Madhyam Multiple Choice Questions Teaching Aptitude Unit 1 Worksheet 5. We are going forward with Worksheet 5. I hope you people are really understanding all the previous worksheets. If you have any kind of queries, feel free to put it in the comment section. And further, for more updates or for future worksheets, please subscribe the channel so that you will be getting uh, you will be getting the future updates. You just don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you will be getting the more updates regarding uh, our MCQs of the KVS Malan series. Uh, since I hope you, pre you people are really preparing very well. Uh, so, in today's session, I am just going to explain few more MCQs which are related to the teaching aptitude unit 1, which is a part of uh, paper 1 UGC uh, net. I hope you clearly understand, right? Yes. Yeah, you, you don't forget, it's like, uh, yeah, you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates. These videos are really helpful for you people preparing for the net set as well as any government uh, recruitment relating to the teaching and research concepts. I hope you clearly understand. Don't forget to subscribe. So going forward, we, uh, going forward with MCQs. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. So coming back to the KVS Madan series work five sheet. Here we are having some few MCQs, like 14 to 15 MCQs. We are going forward. Just going straightly forward to the question number one. You can have uh, directly the question number one over here. In the introduction part of the lesson plan, a teacher aims to get students what? Assignments, option A, option B is aptitude, option C, attention, option D, abilities. Again, during the, at any kind of introduction part of the lesson plan, it is uh, generally a teacher seeks the attention or attention of the students. If he or she gets an attention of the students, so she can get the process flow of uh, teaching, so she can get the flow of communicating the content of the syllabus, she can, contain, uh, she can convey her uh, opinion on the lesson once the attention of the student gets. If she failed, if you or she failed in acquiring the attention of students, they cannot be, they cannot be in the part of the successful attempt towards the teaching. They cannot even do what exactly they deserve, what exactly they can. So, for, for the purpose of the successful moments, one should be, the teacher should be in a position to acquire the attention. Attention is the right answer. So in the introduction part of the lesson plan, a teacher aims to get the student's attention. Students uh, getting, teachers aim, the getting and student's attention is most important part for any kind of teachers. Yeah, second question. For the development of technology, the role of teacher in the future will be what? Uh, see, uh, with the development of technology generally, the role of the teacher in the future will be option A to provide the information Option B to develop the new textbooks. Option C to guidance uh, to guide the students. Option D to use the internet in the teaching. So generally, whenever the development of technology happens in the kind of education corner, so the role of the teacher is to guide the students towards the uses of technology. So the, the duty of the the duty of the teacher will be to guide the students with respect to do uses of the technology towards the educational purposes to bring the new reforms. Uh, if if a teacher, if a teacher uh, like in a graduation, if a teacher for the graduation students, the teacher teaches to the graduation students, her duty, her duty is to guide the students towards the research projects. Research projects. Generally, people are aware of research projects. So, for the research projects, we need a data. The data may be the source of the data may be a primary data or secondary data, whatever it might be. So, for all the kind of things, generally. The data, primary data or secondary data, the, if for the purpose of secondary data again, the internet usage is really required. So the role of the teacher increases to the guide the students towards their common goal. So the option C is a correct answer to the guide students. So next question, which of the following is not a level of teaching level? Yeah, generally we have the three levels in the teaching learning process that is one is mem memory level and second one is understanding level and third one is the reflective level. And the differentiation level is not the level which is existing in the teaching learning. There is no concept or there is no level concept called as differentiation level in the teaching learning process. I hope you clearly understood. Memory level generally, memory level is the first, the first stage or first level uh, where the information is going towards the brain. Again, in second stage is like understanding. So whatever the available data in the brain, then the understanding process takes place. And after understanding, the next phase is like reflective level. 
So this is the sequence, memory level, understanding level and reflective level. And there is no concept called as differentiation level. I hope you understand, right? Yeah. Next question. What is the cognitive domain of Bloom's taxonomy of education of these effects in the learners? So what is that uh, cognitive domain speaks about? As we have discussed in the earlier workshops, cognitive domain mainly mainly focuses on uh, what is it called as? <coughs> See, there are there are normally three types of two domains in the teaching aptitude. There is cognitive domain, and affective domain, and psychomotor domain. In the cognitive domain, cognitive domain mainly focuses on what? Cognitive domain mainly focuses on intellectual aspect of a student or an individual intellectual aspect, and affective do, affective domains. It mainly focuses on the human values like love, emotion, sympathy, concern, whatever it might be. And psychomotor speaks about psychomet psychomotor uh, uh, psychomotor domain speaks about acquiring the technical knowledge. So here the question is cognitive domain. Cognitive domain mainly focuses on intellectuality. Intellectuality is more connected with the thoughts. Without thoughts, there is no kind of intellectuality, isn't it? So yes, the option A is the correct answer. So again, option A, thoughts, thoughts is related to the cognitive domain, emotions is uh, related to, option B, emotions related to affective domain, option C, skills, skills related to psychomotor domain. So option A, thoughts is related to cognitive domain, so option A is the correct answer. Yeah. Integral education concept is propounded, propounded by Sri Aravindo. Aravindo, yes, ancient Indian who propagated and who mainly promoted this integral education concept. Do not forget. Option A, Aravindo. Option B, Mahatma Gandhi. Option C, Swami Dayananda. Option D, Swami Vekananda. So, option A is the correct answer. Sri Aravindo. See, uh, yeah. Options, uh, question number 6. The standard of education can be raised by how? The standard of education, uh, standard of education can be raised by appointing the good teachers, providing physical facilities in the schools, reforming examination system, providing computers in schools. So generally the education, education is, the education deals with the teaching learning aspect. No, there is no education without a teacher, right? I hope the teacher may be the traditional teacher or modern teacher, modern teachers are the teachers who deals with the technology aspects, no whatever it might be, the teacher is a very important role in the educational process. There is no education without teacher or there is no learning without teacher. So appointing a good teachers, appointing, appointing a good teachers will help to, will help to increase the standard of education. I hope you clearly understood. Standard of education can be raised only by appointing good teachers, but not by providing physical facilities in school. Of course, which may help to increase uh, the standard of the student, but overall standard of the, uh, reforming examination students to some extent, okay, providing computers in the schools. So there is no use of computers, uh, computer education without a good teacher, isn't it? So for this purpose, the main thing overall, if we, if we consider overall, the standard of education can be raised only through appointing the good teachers. Appointing the good teachers. So there is no concept of standard of education without appointing the good teachers. I hope you are really understanding, right? Yes. So once again, I am reminding you to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates. And if you have any kind of doubts in the worksheets, the current worksheets, you don't forget to put it in the comment section. And if possible, share it to your friends to the large extent. These videos will be helpful for the set, net, and all other the government, public sector, as well as private institutions. So whatever it might be. Yes. If the next question we are going forward with seventh question. Which of the following skills? Which of the following skills are needed for the present teachers to adjust effectively with the classroom teaching? Uh, so option A is knowledge of technology. Option uh, 2 is the use of technology in teaching learning. Option C, knowledge of students means. Option 4, content mastery. Yeah, we need mainly use of technology in teaching learning is really required for the modern day teachers since the technology is getting developed in the education sector even. So, use of technology in teaching learning is more important to adjust effectively in the classroom teaching. Uh, nowadays, in the classroom teaching, the uses of projector is getting increased for form presentations, video classes, audio classes. For this purpose, the uh, teacher should, in order to adjust effectively in the classroom teaching, use of technology is really required. Knowledge of students needs, yes. Without knowing the students needs, one cannot go forward in teaching or one cannot teach effectively. In order to teach effectively, the teacher should know what are the needs of the students, right? And the content mastery, yes. 
if the student is not, if the teacher is not okay with the subject or the content, he cannot be efficient. In order to smooth run the classroom environment, he or she, the teacher, he or she should uh, possess a good amount of content mastery or subject knowledge. I hope you understood. So we required yes use of technology in teaching learning. Option three it is knowledge or transfer means, and option four two three four are the correct answers. Two three four option three is the correct answer. I hope you understood. Yes, yeah. The primary duty of the teacher. The primary duty of the teacher is to raise the intellectual standards of the students, improve the physical standards of students, help in all round development of students, imbibable value in students. Yes, in helping options, the primary duty of the teacher is to help in all round development of the students. What does it mean all round development? All round development means the students in the academics, in sports, in in, in his personal, in their interpersonal, is in his career, right? In the skills. So, if a student get developed in all round aspects in his life, definitely uh, he can be succeed in any life. So, for that purpose, it is the duty of the primary duty of the teacher to deal with all round development activities of the students. I hope you understood, right? Yes. Next, uh, we have next question. Which one of the following is the most important quality of the good teacher? Yeah. So, option A, punctuality and sincerity. Okay. Content mastery, okay. Content mastery and reactive. It's not really required the reactive. Instead of reaction, response is really required. Respond instead of reactive, right? Uh, reactive is not the characteristic of an uh, important uh, quality of a good teacher. Content mastery and social. I hope you understood. Content mastery is something you know. It is like uh, subject knowledge. Yeah, sociable. Sociable is nothing but he, uh, he or she should have some part of an concern what the society aspects even. So yes. Content mastery and societal is the important quality of a good teacher to have process, or to process and to have uh, it is the quality of a good teacher. I hope you understood, right? Yes, yeah. The primary responsibility for the teacher adjustment lies with what? So the primary responsibility of the teacher adjustment lies with the teacher itself, the children, the principal, the teacher himself, or community. No, first of all, the teacher adjustment lies with the teacher himself. How he or she is going. Uh, dealing with the other people, how they, she is going to dealing with the students, how she is balancing her syllabus, how she is balancing her classroom environment, how she is balancing her professional career, everything, whatever it might be. The adjustment lies with he, him or herself. So the teacher himself, teacher himself or teacher herself, whatever it might be. So the primary responsibility for teacher's adjustment lies with teacher himself. Yeah. Which of the following statement is correct? Syllabus is an annexure to the curriculum. So, curriculum is the same in all education institutions, not really, no. Curriculum includes both formal and informal education. Curriculum does not include the methods of evaluation. See, for, for the purpose of a curriculum development, generally the syllabus will be considered. Syllabus will be considered. Based on the syllabus itself, the curriculum will be, curriculum will be developed. So, for the, for the purpose of curriculum, so for the purpose of development of curriculum, generally, the syllabus is really required. So, what does it mean? Syllabus is... Syllabus is an independent variable. Curriculum is curriculum is dependent variable. Curriculum is dependent on syllabus. So what does it mean? Syllabus is syllabus is an annexure to the curriculum. Annexure is nothing but a base part. Without it, it is nothing. Without the syllabus, curriculum is nothing. I hope you understand it, right? Yes. A successful teacher is the one who is compassionate and disciplinarian, quiet and reactive, tolerant and dominating, passive and active. Who is a compassionate and disciplinarian? Who is passionate towards their uh, profession, right? Yes. The most important quality of the good teacher is sound knowledge of subject matter, good communication skills, concern for the students' welfare, effective leadership qualities. Generally, yes, the most important quality of good teacher is without having his knowledge, without having sound knowledge of their own subject, the teacher is nothing. So, in order to survive in this profession, the teacher must have good amount of good amount of sound knowledge of subject matter. So, no use of communication skills uh, without having a subject matter. I hope you understood. With having the subject matter, communication skills are really required. I hope you understood. The most important challenge in the teacher resources are, the most important challenge in the teaching a resource teacher is identifying an assessment, identifying an assessment, sensitization of public parents, establishing resource room and supplying, teaching plus curricular activities. Teaching plus curricular activities is the most important challenge in teaching a resource teacher. I hope you clearly understood. Uh, if you really like the video, you share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can share it to your other aspirants in your circle. Thank you.
ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಬಂದೆ ಮಾತ್ರ